What's going on guys, today here, welcome back to the channel. Exciting news for everybody here, but Bunko has a new outfit and we have a sneak peek of the World War Z update, Valley of the Zeke, that comes out tomorrow. Yes, I'm making this video in the middle of the night, but I hope you guys see this right now or in the morning before the update goes live. Someone on Reddit came across the update early somehow, no one knows how, but we got some cool new images to take a look at what we're gonna to expect tomorrow in the new update. And for those that follow me for the day before, don't worry, I'm only covering this new update for World War Z for the next two days, and it's back to the day before on launch day, December 7th. So first up, we can see here that it's going to be located in Phoenix, Episode 8. Phoenix, we knew it was going to be in Arizona, but now we know for a fact it's going to be Phoenix, Arizona. Forced to abandon the city, the survivors of Phoenix have formed a resettlement convoy. Four survivors make up rear patrol, a squad intended to warn the convoy of zombie attacks from behind. But the squad is separated from the convoy and must find an alternate route to rejoin the convoy before they are left behind. And as we can see here, we got the four new characters, and we now have a new redhead addition to our playable characters. If you didn't know, this new update with this new DLC is going to cost $9.99 US dollars. Jumping on to some of the new images that we saw here, we have new character skins. And people have been wanting new character skins. I feel like we get lots of weapon skins, but now we finally have two new character skin bundles that you guys might actually be really interested in seeing. So we got this first skin here. Looks pretty good. Looks nice. And for some reason, I'm like, can't figure out exactly who this is for. I mean, I see the shorts, so I think it makes sense to who it actually is. But for fun, I'm going to pretend like I don't know and see what you guys think in the comments down below. Next, we got Sergi, who looks like is now in part of a biker gang. I'm just glad he's got a skin. He's he's so awesome. A Russian biker. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Also, we got this guy. This is one of the new guys. Whether or not this is a skin, I'm not exactly sure. If you take a look at the first picture, it looks like this is his like default original skin. On top of that, we have her, which is also a new playable character in the Phoenix campaign. And as we know, with a previous update, you can actually play any character that you'd like in the horde mode. And then we also have this one, the redhead here, who is also a new playable character and just seems to be the default skin. We also have this new guy here who seems to be an ex-military man or something. And this is his default skin as well. And then we have this, Bunko's new skin. Holy moly, everybody was already simping over Bunko as it was, but take a look at this. There's no way, <laughs> There's no way you can't say that Rayburn knows exactly what they're doing. Everybody's going to be buying it just for the skin alone. I'm telling you, just watch. You will see Bunko in every single one of your playthroughs with this skin. Just you wait and see. But it does. It looks good. All right. Now we actually have images of the new weapon, the heavy pistol, the DE-50. So it's a 50 caliber. We can see that you need to level it up to be able to use it, obviously. But we can see the magazine size is 7 with a max penetration of 1 currently. Hopefully that obviously will go up as it levels up. The power is nine though, so this thing is gonna be a destroyer of elite zombies. I'm hoping it can just do like two, three taps to the bull's visor and just absolutely demolish things. And then we also have some of the uh, weapon skins here. Well, we just have one actually, is the Burning Skulls Pack DLC, and it doesn't look too bad. I don't mind the skull in the back, I think it looks good. I do find though that that part of the gun isn't always quite as visible as say more towards the front or the uh, silencer attachments, but it is what it is, and that's only one of the skins. There are gonna be multiple, which again, to my understanding, is gonna be a $5 pack. Same with these uh, weapon skins that we're looking at here is also probably gonna be a $5 pack, and that's US dollars. Anyways, guys, again, this was just like a leak, apparently on Reddit, just a sneak peek preview of what's to come on the update tomorrow morning, which is gonna be the 5th of December, Valley of the Zeke World War Z update. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know down in the comment section down below if you're going to get any of these skins, the new DLC, etc. And I'll make sure to make tons of videos, playthroughs, my opinion, review, and I'll live stream it as well. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.